All right, so what's your first impression of Munich? Well, it's a lot of activity. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Would you do this if you lived in Germany and you were German? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm getting him a beer. I'm, I'm getting my dad a German Bavarian beer and then a Rattler because he's never had a Rattler either. We're in Germany. I'm going to eat German food. I'm going to drink German beer. Nice beer for us. Guten Morgen, mein Freund. This is where the trip begins. Dude, check out the trains. What's up, Munich? Look at that. Ferris wheel, beautiful. This is an absolute beautiful city. We have not seen any of it yet. Today, we are gonna go explore, but first, we're gonna start the day off with breakfast. Boom, so we're gonna eat this breakfast, then we're gonna go to downtown, and we're gonna meet our, our friend. There's a dude down there, he won a contest to be with Bayern Munich and we're gonna film with him and he's gonna show us Munich and then we're gonna go to London to see the game so this is just the start of a very good weekend. Something that I got used to too is Wasser mit Kohlensäure so like bubbles when you're in America they don't sell water with bubbles normally you gotta ask for it. In Germany you have to ask for water without bubbles but I have become fond of this. Crumpet? Crumpet, yeah. So during Carnival, they have these donuts with thick cream in the middle called Crumpfel, and they look so good. But I might die if I eat them. We are in Munich here, downtown at Marienplatz, which is the most famous part of Munich. We're in Munich during Carnival. Carnival is everywhere. I thought it was only in Cologne, but Munich is just as crazy. Look at these guys dancing. <laughs> this is a perfect example of Germans working hard, but then when it's time to have fun and play, they play hard too. Crazy. What do you think? It's crazy. <laughs> Would you do this if you lived in Germany and you were German? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's cool though. I think it's cool. It's cool to watch. It's cool to watch. All right, so I was eyeing these donuts earlier, and you gotta tell me what's up with this. They're the German donuts. Okay, is it only them? during Cologne though? Carnival? Usually it's during February. Okay. But uh, sometimes, when you're lucky, you get it uh, all year round, but you gotta be lucky. It's the called the German donut, it's Kapfen. They're very traditional during uh, Fasching, and uh, it's a fit and fill up donut, no hole in the middle, and it's, it's, it's filled with uh, some Dang. cream. Should we try one? It looks like a hamburger. Look at that. I don't even know, that doesn't look healthy, but I'm okay with that. And to all the Canadians out there, this is the German Boston cream donut. It's German Boston cream donut, dude. This is a like a Carnival hamburger. Let's try it. Delicious. It's unbelievable. So unhealthy and so good. Oh my goodness. It's so unhealthy. Wow. First time you was it? Yeah, no, I know. First time in my life. I've lived in Germany for a little bit. Sorry, I have it on my face. I can't wipe it off. And I just found out that they have these German donuts that I've never, ever experienced in my life. I forgot the name of them. I'll put them down below, the exact German name. But it's straight up two donuts or a donut split in half. And they have cream in the middle. It's freaking unbelievable. I'm going to have one more bite. And then I'm going to throw it away because otherwise I'm going to keep eating it and probably order 40 more. This is dope, bro. So we are we're joining the Carnival. No, yeah, we are joining the Carnival in this nice beer hall. So we're gonna get some traditional traditional Bavarian food and traditional beer, as you should when you are in Munich. All right. So what's your first impression of Munich? Well, it's a lot of activity, for sure. 
I'm getting him a beer. I'm, I'm getting my dad a German Bavarian beer and then a Rattler because he's never had a Rattler either. You ready for that? I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Yeah. We're in Germany. I'm going to eat German food. I'm going to drink German beer. <laughs> that's right. And I'm watching all the Germans at Mount Carnival. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is dope because I've been living in Germany for a while and this is the first time that I really get to show my dad around, so good experience. Megan! Nochmal ein Liter! Nochmal ein Liter! Alright, dude, this place is awesome, bro. This place is literally lit. I was here for Oktoberfest, but it still goes, bro. The party goes on. Bavaria does it right. They got the food, they got the beer, they got the dancing. You see how it is. It is Carnival. I'm not sure if this is how it is every weekend, but there's so many people, and this is the perfect place to take my dad, honestly. I'm here with Bayern Munich and Qatar Airways, and we are just checking out Munich today, and then we're gonna be off to London tomorrow, but I'm excited that I get to show my dad, you know, traditional Germany, Bavaria, gonna give him the food, gonna give him the beer, and give him a good time before we go off to London, so this is legit. Let's continue to have a good day. Oh, the man bearing good news. Radler, ein Radler. So I got one Radler and ein Bier. Die Damos will ich allen fast sagen. Hello, Die Hey, and my dad was pointing this out too, and I love the fact that in Germany, the older people get into it. Like these are, you know, it's not like the 15, 16 year old, it's like 30, 40, 50, 60, you gotta do it. That's my dad's first Bavarian beer. Let me try it too, it's straight up. It's like sweet nectar, my friends. It tastes like more. Tastes like what? Tastes like more. All right, and then this is a radler. So this is going to be like half beer, half lemon. You could drink that all day. What's better? I'd probably go for the beer. I have to let you guys know this too. In Germany, one of my favorite things is, well, I'll, I'll say this first. In America, if you go to a restaurant, they'll bring you fresh bread. But in Germany, instead, you guessed it, fresh pretzel. It's a beautiful thing. We got traditional Bavarian food along with the Bavarian beer. We're getting Schweinenbraten, right? Is that, is that the name of it? We have Knudel and Schweinenbraten, dude. This is so good. I am so happy to be back in Germany because I love Bavarian food and German food in general. And we're eating it all today. All of it. Look at that. And my dad's going to try it too for the first time. Right? Pretty good, huh? I like it. All right, Felix, can you explain to me what a knudel is? This is a potato dumpling. Okay. So, so it's made of potatoes and what else? It's potatoes. <laughs> Let's go! with uh, noodles, I guess. And then we have pork, and then the pork comes with the skin as well. So I'm gonna eat a little bit of each. It's a great combination, honestly. Pork, canoodle, skin. Let's go. <laughs> How was the food? Best food in the world, man. Best. How was the food? Very good, excellent food. Best ever. <laughs> They still have a lot of the kiosks left over from like the Weihnachtsmarkt during the winter time. And one of my favorite of all time is the Flammkuchen aus dem Holz. They make amazing Flammkuchen here. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. This guy's getting our, our dad's dancing right here. That's how it should be.
like, oh, bro, Haribo sticks are my favorite German candy of all time, and they have fat ones. Like, look how long these are. Ooh. What is this one? Cashew with orange chocolate. Orange chocolate. Yeah. All right. Cashew with orange chocolate. That's good. Cashew with chili. That's hot. Guess what? Great. We're both with our fathers getting on a plane tomorrow, flying to London, and then the game will be the next day. We're going to check out London tomorrow, and then we're going to check out the game. It's going to be great. Los Gates!